Hello and welcome to my channel Rapid Vectors. In this tutorial I will show you how to create a camera smoothing effect and also fix the jittering issue that you can see in the background of this pixel based game. We will create a script that will interpolate the values so that the pixels are snapping and creates a much better smoothing operation for the camera. If you like what you see in this tutorial Remember just to hit like or subscribe to receive future updates of other tutorials. It may be possible in your game that you are experiencing a jittering effect when using a low resolution for your pixel game. So first let's have a look at some settings that may cause this. If you just go to your level 1 and then open up the player camera 2D node, just scroll down in the inspector and then look for the option of position smoothing. Now when this is enabled you'll have a smoothing speed so that when the player stops the camera then catches up. And let's just see this effect on a low resolution game. Let's just run the game. And now that we've added settings you now have the option to choose different resolutions. So what I'll do is I'll keep it on 480 to 270 then I'll choose full screen and then let's go and play the game. Now, when you run, the camera will catch up to the player, but just pay attention to this area here with the background. So as I move and then I come back and stop into position, you can see that the pixels jitter. I'll just do that one more time. And there is a slight shaking and jittering effect. And that is because as the camera is catching up to the player, the position is starting to be compared and the pixels are not moving per integer. There is a slight fractional value between the camera global position and the player's global position. So what I'm gonna do, first we'll switch camera smoothing off and then we'll create a camera script which can handle smoothing on and off but also snap to a pixel position. So let's just stop the game. So back on the player camera 2D node, if you just go to position smoothing again, let's just switch that off completely and then let's run the game again. And then when we run to this location, you can see that there is no jittering effect. However, the camera is fixed on the player and the pixels are snapping. So as the camera moves, it's going along pixel by pixel. So it's slightly improved, but we don't have any smoothing effect. So I'm going to create the scripts now to show with smoothing effect, which snaps per pixel, but you'll have the option to switch it on or off. And then you can find the suitable variables and choose whether you would like to use that in your game. So let's just stop that again and go back to main menu and just exit that. So now head over back to the player camera 2D node and let's just open that script. And at the moment in the physics process method, we just get the camera's global position and assign our player's global position. So we're going to make some improvements around this method. Let's begin by exporting a variable and we'll call this smoothing enabled, which is a bool. And then we'll export another variable, but we'll use the range so we can only add between 1 to value 10 in the inspector control and we'll call this smoothing distance and I'll set that to a default value of 8 for now. I'm going to introduce another export variable here and this will give category names in the inspector so we can use export category and I'll put follow character here and then I'll use another export category and I'll call that camera smoothing. We just save that. If you now look in the inspector, those export categories have created our titles here. If we then look at the inspector, we now have headings above our export variables and it just tidies up the inspector and just gives a little bit of organization for that. Now inside the physics process method, let's add another variable here, which is the camera position, which is type vector two. And then we'll say if smoothing enabled, then we want another variable, which is the weight. That is type float. And then pass the smoothing distance and we'll divide that by 100. So we're going to make a much smaller value for that. 
but it'll be easier from the inspector to work with values one to 10. Then we'll take the camera position and we are going to then use the lerp function and then pass in the global position. And we're moving from that position to the player's global position. And then we want to interpolate the value between the camera's position to the player's position. And we've calculated the weight above. Remember you can press control and then click lerp to read more information about how this method works. We we'll just go back to the script. Then we'll say else the camera position equals player dot global position. So that gives us the option of smoothing off, which is what we had before. And what we want to do is set the global position to be the camera position. So now that we've updated the physics process method with a different smoothing operation for the camera, before I finish this method, because I have missed something crucial off this, I'd like to show you the camera position values before we add the snapping to pixel fix. This will just show a bit more information about how the camera is moving and the fractional part. Let's just print first some information. So I'll print the weight value first, then the camera position, and then the camera at a pixel floor position. And what I'll do, I'll just need to move this weight just above here because it can't be accessed. So let me just make a modification there. We can put that back afterwards. So I'm just gonna show you now the effect of these values. So now let's run the game and let's view this debug statement inside of our inspector. I'll just run that now. I'll just move this up and I'm gonna play it in window mode so that we can see the output. I'll just press play. And if we have a look at the output here, the current weight is zero because we've not enabled smoothing at the moment. But the most important operation to view here is our camera position. So we have the X value in the vector and the Y value in the vector. And if you see these numbers, we have a fractional part here. Then in the camera pixel floor method, which we haven't used yet, I'm outputting the floor math function so the value is dropping the fractional part and this better represents the pixel position. So what is happening when we're smoothing the camera is that the camera is trying to smooth over fractional values and really what we are working with in a low resolution game is pixel integer values. So as we move you can see these values being output to our debug. So let's now switch on the smoothing effect and apply the floor value to the global position. So let's stop that now. Back in the script, all we now need to do is to assign floor here. Then in the player camera 2D, go to smoothing enabled and just switch that on. I've already put a default value of eight, so we'll just leave that for now. Then back for the weight calculation, in the float function, say 11, minus smoothing distance. So the reason why I've chosen 11 is because it's the maximum smoothing distance plus one. And what this will do is when we choose a smoothing distance of 10, this will be furthest away and with a smoothing distance of one, that will be closer to the camera. Let's just run the game again and we can test these values. So as you can see, I have a weight of 0 0.1 when my smoothing value is set to 1. Let's just run. Let's just pop this value to 5. So now that's at 5. Let's see the effect of that and look at the weight position. So the weight has already been updated. It's now at 0 0.06. And that's a little bit further away. And then let's update this to 10. So now that weight is 0 0.01. Let's see the effect of that. And as you can see now, the player can move further away and possibly even off screen. So we wouldn't use a, a smoothing value of 10, but we can leave that anywhere. I'm going to set the smoothing value for two for this game. I'm just going to quickly run that. Just check the background in this area. 
I'm happy with that result and just stop the game. And then in the physics process method, I'll remove the debug statement because we don't need that anymore. And then I'll bring the weight variable back into this if statement and just remove this from here and then make that type float. And we will use the ready method and then copy and paste this weight line in there and then copy this as a global variable. And what we'll do, we'll calculate the weight when the game starts because this value won't always change. So we don't need to keep calculating it in the physics process method. We have now finished our camera script. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. I hope this helps understand jittering effects in low resolution pixel games and some possible solutions on how to solve it. If you really like what you've seen in this tutorial, please remember to hit like or subscribe and receive updates on future tutorials. Thank you for watching.